<clears throat> it's hard for me to sit here and wait. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, it's me, KP. I'm here in my studio, the moon and the maker. And I'm seven minutes early. We're not supposed to start till five. Well, actually, I'm more like um, six hours late because our internet has been out virtually from, I want to say, all day. But it was really from about nine o'clock this morning or maybe at 830 this morning until just a couple hours ago. <clears throat> so I was supposed to go live at 11 but um, I couldn't because our internet was out and um, that was a drag because I have been so looking forward to my lives every morning at 11. It's just been a great time for me. I am on a, like this kind of routine. I wake up really excited and motivated for the day. So it's, it's great. Anyway, um, it really threw me off when I couldn't go live at 11. Um, although I still got to paint for a while. And then finally, when I realized the internet wasn't coming back on, I went ahead and um, <clears throat> did some other things around the house and had to go to the store. And we're having family over for a little veggie grill. And so... Um, you know, Mr. Moon is doing most of the preparations, but I'm sort of going to hang out and eat some veggies later. But right now I wanted to still come and do my watercolor. <laughs> but we still have five more minutes, five more minutes and I'll be right back. Just wanted to 
come on here, give everybody a chance to find me, and then also just make sure everything technically was looking good, sounding fine. So we'll get started in just a few minutes. <clears throat> all right yay it's finally five o'clock and here i am it's me kp i'm here in my studio the moon and the maker home of rubber moon art stamps and we're gonna splash our stamps and
for World Watercolor Month, day number seven. So I'm really excited to finally be here. As many of you know, um, our internet was out. Um, it was out from about 9.30 this morning until, oh goodness, about 3-ish, 3 3.30-ish, something like that. I don't know exactly, but um, I finally kind of gave up on it for a while. I painted most of the morning and that was kind of fun, of course. Um, but it was really frustrating because I've really been in the groove and I am have enjoyed being here every morning at 11 so much. So um, I look forward to it every day and I hope you do too. Um, so we're going to just get right to it. As you may or may not know, we're doing a watercolor every single day for the month of July, World Watercolor Month. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Anne. Yay, somebody made it. And Dana, yay, we're here. I'm so excited to be here finally. <laughs> Six hours late, but better late than never. So um, anyway, um, it's really been super motivating for me. The time just works out really well here, you know, in the studio, 11 a.m. So hopefully um, no more snafus and we can continue every morning at 11 as we've been doing. I can't believe it's already day seven. We're going to um, work with stamp tracks again. So for those of you who have been watching each day, um, let's just pull a couple of the, these out that I did yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, it was these two. And then remember I said um, that we were going to do an owl for today. I mean, we could do this every single day for the month of July, but I, we won't. I just wanted to show some stamp tracks because I love playing with them, experimenting them or with them. Um, and, you know, I think they're, they're something always new to do with them. So, but anyway, I did share with you the owl. I wanted to show you, um, I did a small abstract and this is actually based on another abstract that I did a while ago, um, obviously in a smaller format. Again, just using the stamp stack, stamp track stamps, um, mostly I think all from set number one, which is this this one here. Um, but that's really this is why I designed stamp tracks in the first place was to do abstracts, hence the name stamp tracks. Um, I wanted just organic shapes to be able to do abstract stamping. Well, it ended up turning into something else as I experimented more and more, and I found that I was able to make these wonderful, you know, uh, what would this, not a landscape, but you know, an outer space scape. Um, but I've also done landscapes with stamp tracks, <laughs> say that 10 times fast, but also critters, you know, cats, I've done butterflies, I've done angels, um, obviously owls, um, here's another little owl that I did. I thought something completely different, but again, using the stamp tracks. Now, if, um, anyway, so I get ahead of myself. So I designed them to be abstracts. Um, that is a lot of fun. Um, so much that we could do there too. Um, I am going to share these with you if you're on Let's Get Makey Premium. We'll do these as a project um, coming up just as a little bonus or extra in Let's Get Makey Premium. But I, I can't just do two or three every single day, even though I want to because I get so excited. So for today, we'll just do this one. And then I already have some other things planned for the rest of um, the days. What day are we even on? We're on Sunday. So I already have Mondays and Tuesdays done. I don't know if I should give a sneak peek or not. What do you all think? If you think that you would like to see future projects, um, like a, a couple days ahead, um, then I will share those with you. But anyway, we're going to do the owl for today. This one specifically, I mean, we might change it up just a little bit, but he's a pretty fun dude. So we are going to use this round tangle, which is this one here. We again are, are going to use try it, which is just that little triangle, this one here. And it's this, and I think, um, I don't know if Mr. Moon is watching, but something's going on with my autofocus. Um, I hope it's not being too distracting for you. I noticed it a lot when I was moving my hands around and bringing the paper up to the camera more. But um, if that gets distracting for any of you, please let me know. Okay. So there's a setting or something. Maybe when we had turned off our computers or something earlier, it reset. So I don't know. Anyway, um, we're also going to use this little scalloped one. Now this one I think is from set number two and it's called Notions. 
And it's just like these little sort of scallopy lines. What else? We also are going to use the tri dots. This one here. Again, which I pretty much always use the burst stamp, which uh, many of you know, it's my old trusty, one of my favorites. <clears throat> Um, and then we're also going to use that one called Dot Your Eye. It's also from set number two. It's this one here. And that, my friends, is it. Again, we have our 300-pound cold press watercolor paper. And my same brushes that I've been using every day. A number eight round, long round, a number four long round, and my little... Um, wash flat wash brush. If you make, feel more comfortable to use a an acrylic mount to mount your stamps, then that's great. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes um, because my stamps get so used and handled a great deal, <clears throat> the backs of the cling cushion gets dirty and it won't stick. So that's something you should be aware of um, because that can be dangerous. If it's not really sticking and you go to stamp it and it falls off, that's always a drag. But hopefully maybe your stamps aren't as used and handled as mine are. <laughs> I wanted to share this with you because I've been talking with Dana, my friend Dana, um, and I was telling her about this tin and I wanted you all to see it. Um, it has a Van Gogh Starry Night on the front. Although I know you can get these on Amazon. I'm going to list these on my favorites page. Um, so you can have a link to it, but I just didn't get to it today because of the internet outage. But anyway, they have a bunch of different ones. Um, I think it's really cute anyway. And then it has these pan or these half pans. They're all empty when you buy it and they all have magnets on the bottom and that way you can take them in and out. And I filled them with my favorite colors. Um, so I'll show you, let's see. So like this one, I, I, I wrote the name of the color and the brand on the back. So that's very handy. You can also buy these half pans with little magnets, um, and put them in your own little Altoid tin. I have that one around here with that as well. I haven't decorated my Altoid tin yet, but you can see I just have a few of them in there. I need to buy some more of these little pans so I can fill it up. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Um, just sort of a little aside because I thought you'd be interested and because Dana and I had been messaging about that. So anyway, again, we're going to use our stamp track stamps. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, just six stamps. And... I want to do a similar thing to this, but I want to use different colors so that I have like two coordinating pe uh, pieces. So of course I'm still going to use him for inspiration. I know you probably can't see that, but I'm dipping into my, my paint here and I'm just going to paint my stamp. Stamp it a couple times. Don't forget it. I'm going to give up on the mount because I, I get worried that I'm going to drop it and make a mess.
I don't know if this stamp is clean, so I'm going to wet it just a little bit. And Oh, yeah, I'm glad I... But I decided to clean that stamp off first because it would have made a real muddy color. <laughs> we don't want that. Well, I didn't exactly get the <laughs> my my dots centered, but that's okay. You know, even um, when you make little mistakes or things that you think are mistakes, it really can give a lot of personality. Um, I am sorry for my autofocus. I don't know what's going on. I can see that it's having trouble, so I hope it, again, isn't too distracting. I don't know if um, my hubby is around to come and fix it. He's in the middle of grilling veggies right now. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with sort of a, a dark color, again, enough to match this outer, this value here, um, and use magenta just because I want to sort of paint out some of this lines here, some of the stamp. So I'm going in with pretty dark value, pretty loaded brush. All right, and there you have sort of already the shape of your owl. And then I'm just going to go in and start, you know, fixing him up, <clears throat> giving him some detail, some other color. I'm going to paint his little beak gray. And here where the stamp didn't stamp perfectly, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. I'm going to give him another little outline around his eyeball.
Just gonna put down some light washes. And then I'll go back over and start layering some color. I must be really liking this orange color because I really liked it for the cat too. <laughs> so now I'm going to have a matching owl and a matching cat. Not on purpose. I guess it's just my color palette too because obviously whatever you have sort of, oops, I'm getting a little strong magenta there that I didn't really want, but that's okay. I'm going to let this dry too and then I'm going to over stamp it a little bit. I think I know that as crazy as this might seem, I'm going to bring in some green gold down here on the bottom. Because you know me, I do like green gold and a green gold and pink combination. Right, so I'm sort of liking him. He needs a little more eye work, <laughs> but he's getting there. And then again, I'd love to over stamp here in his belly area, but I think I'm gonna have to wait a while. Oh, I got that one ran just a little bit because I was being impatient. Hmm. Well, this eye ran just a little bit, a little bit, which I don't like, but all in all, I think he's looking pretty cute. <laughs> I think if I hadn't gotten a little bit impatient in a couple areas, maybe it would have gone a little smoother, but I, all in all, I really like it. And I think that it will be super cute with this guy. <laughs> and maybe I'll still use a little bit of my burst um, to give 
a little added texture around. So I just maybe a little white. I'm going to try a little bit of white, titanium white. Uh, again, I'm giving up on the acrylic block for now. That might, that's still a little wet up here, so that will just give it sort of a little mottled look if I stamp into the wet paint. Remember, if there's something that you don't like, you can always go back in with a little wet brush and sort of stitch it together. So I'm sort of regretting putting that darker purple up at the top. So I sort of scrubbed a lot of it away and I'm going back in with more magenta and I'm just going to drop it in there and let it, let it dry real good. You're seeing it super wet and loaded up with water and shiny, but <clears throat> it'll dry. And uh, then I may do a couple little stampings like I did here, or I may not, but don't they make such a cute little couple? <laughs> huh. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed watercolor day number seven. Um, I'll definitely be back tomorrow morning at 11, um, assuming that everything is status quo. Um, again, I'm going to share these other two little watercolors with you over on Let's Get Makey Premium. So if you're a premium member, then, um, you know, you can watch these at a later time. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. I'm, it's too late now. I'd already planned on doing that um, when it was earlier. So um, we'll just, we'll do that tomorrow. Anyway, uh, thanks again. I know I'm a little discombobulated just because of all the craziness of the day, but it's still been a wonderful day. I hope it's been a wonderful day for you as well. I hope you get a chance to go and get Makey and splash your stamps. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you later. If you have any questions, let me know.